right. Whoa. Welcome to the second annual Bearded Woodworker Halloween Special. No, 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 no. We're trying something different here with the lighting. Uh, I think it's too dark. Uh, I'm gonna go turn on the lights, Alex, and see if that helps. Okay. So, hold on. Alex, where'd you go? Where'd he go? Alex? Are you gonna yeah. turn the lights on? I, I did, I turned the lights on and you weren't here. Where, did you go somewhere? No, I was here the entire time. Did you see me come back? No. Dude, I, mean, I can't keep turning on and off the lights. Uh, they can't see us in this lighting, so when I turn on the lights, I need you to stay here. Stay here. Here. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Huh? I see you. Uh, All right. Here's that better. Now you guys can see the cobwebs. The spooky cobwebs. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Welcome. Thank you for coming back and visiting the Bearded Woodworker. Um, last year, as you recall, we made some tombstones, tombstones headstones. Um, the card would be right here. This corner, I think. If you haven't seen it, uh, go ahead and check that out because we're adding to our cemetery, our Halloween graveyard, by making some pillars. Three-way pillars, and we might get some fencing going on at the same time. Scary. Yeah, fencing. yeah. And I think we're going to make a few more headstones, but uh, it'll be the same as it. It'll be the same as the other uh, video, so we're not going to make a video on that. But yeah. if you happen to see more than four headstones at the end of this video, it's because we secretly made some mm -hmm. on the other side. So, Alex, what yes. are we going to do? We are going to get wood. We have some one... Why? Is that 12? Let's see. Nine and nine, one by tens. So we have four of them that are this size and two of them that are a little longer. So we are going to use, I believe they're four feet. They're four feet. So we're gonna cut the two long ones down to four feet and we're gonna make this a three panel column. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, whoops, uh, nothing, nothing to see here. Both of these down at the same time. Whoa. Mark it. You remember how to use this saw, Alex? Yes. You take it, you pull it back, you push it down, and you push it back. Jeez, what is that? I think it's a ghost, Dad. My name is Joshua. So now we're going to uh, glue and brad nail and then we're going to stick a couple of screws in there because screws hold better than nails. Mm. You need to hold up. I see that. Put it over. Uh, 
Stay right there. Don't pull it. No! Okay. All right, so we're gonna pre-drill with a little countersink bit here. And then we're gonna screw in. Uh, all we have are the three inch screws, unfortunately. It might be too much, but. Oh yeah. Where's your mask? Oh no. Where's you your did this goggles? to me. You did this. Where's to all me your dad. PVE? Uh, the comments we're gonna get, Alex. Uh, I'm gonna look like you one day. Safety police. We're ready for you now. What? I said we're ready for you now. Oh okay. Cool. Now you can take all that stuff off. What? <laughs> okay. Let's go. Cool. So now, that we have our uh, pieces cut, we're doing the bottom. It goes here. This piece goes there. And this piece goes over here. So we are going to screw these to this place and then we'll go on the inside and we'll screw everything down that way. There you go. We'll throw this on Make here. sure to cap it. Yeah, dude, you don't want to dry out our glue. Now we need to find some smaller screws, or should I just nail it in place? No, screws make it better. Okay, we could just nail it. How about we nail it in place and then we'll find some screws? Okay. Yeah. Why was the skeleton sad at prom? He had no body to go. <laughs> Dad. Dad. Dad, you have it. Safety police. I, I just got in trouble by the safety police again. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of that? So, there's a. Uh, the base and so now we're going to do the same thing on the top but we're going to use two by four instead of two by eight just to make it uh you know a little smaller and then we're going to find ourselves a piece of plywood or something to put a top piece on it maybe a couple of pieces of plywood so uh i'm not going to show you us cutting down the two by four but we'll show you putting it on <laughs> why didn't he have somebody to go to the prom with I don't know what. Because he didn't have the guts to ask anyone out.
decided that the base needs to be a little heavier so we're not going to pick a piece of two by four and we're going to wrap it on the bottom of a two by ten to give it a little more beef So this is actually some gray primer that I got from Sherwin-Williams and it was a mist tint. I picked it up for five bucks. And I'm just using this four inch weenie roller, hot dog roll, I don't know what they call it, mini. We call it a weenie roller. <laughs> that one's not. Oh, okay. I think we are totally golden on that. So now we just need to let it dry and we'll be back to uh, do some faux stone or brick work. I'm not sure what we're gonna make it, but um, stick around, you'll see. We are back. It is a another day. As you can see, we now have two pillars. Now we're going to take, we have some white house paint some of the gray and then we also have some black here so uh, I put it in this little container right here and I'm gonna give Alex this brush I'm gonna take this brush and then we're gonna take an artist brush uh, to do the grout lines and I will choose I was just, I was just like staring, staring at it, like. <clears throat> yeah. right, but we're gonna go for a stone mm -hmm. type thing. Jesus Christ, the boogeyman's coming. I'm going to start off with this black color right here, dip it into a little bit of the white. It doesn't matter what we have. So we want to just kind of, all right, so a stone is going to look mm, like that. There's one, right? Yeah. And then we have a stone that's going to fit right into this little guy right here and it's gonna come around the corner like that All right, so now that we've got the brick established in the one, Alex is dipping in to some of the gray and then the white. Really stab it straight on. And don't worry about here. Don't, don't worry about, like we want to get, we want your brush to look like that. So okay. it's a strong brush, you can stab it. Like that, okay. And so he's gonna put on a little highlight on the top of each one of these stones and then we're going to do a little dark on it, and I'm going to go back 
with this guy and I'm going to blend it if it needs to. Let's do a little bit of the shadow right now so the paint doesn't dry on us because I want it to, it's got to be a little um, wet. There we go. Yeah, see how he's not filling the whole entire rock? You don't want to get rid of all that gray we just did. <clears throat> so while he continues doing that, I'm going to show you what this, what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to take this dryer brush and see how we're going to kind of smooth everything a little more, blend it together. And if I waited too long, then <laughs> the paint would be the paint would be dry and it wouldn't work. Whoop, I just kicked the... Yeah, that's a good looking stone there. Look at that. to do that I'm gonna quickly show you what else why we don't care if it's getting everywhere because then we're gonna come back again I'm gonna touch up all this clean up the rock see that and we're gonna vary the colors too like oh yeah let's make this one a little lighter here Uh oh. Yeah. My mother would kill me if you get that. <laughs> yeah. All right, clean that out like that. Yeah, see, look at that. Right. Yeah, so now Alex is going to take his used brush that he had. He's going to kind of dirty up this bottom of the column.